embarking on a spiritual journey is an exciting experience, full of eagerness and excitement for the results promised by those who have reached a state of self-realization. I'm sure you have already experienced many transformative experiences along your way. However, you would have also realized that it is an arduous path, fraught with many dangers and many pits one could fall into. In this video, I will discuss 5 dangers along your journey that you must watch out for. First, Ego-Based Spiritual Pursuits For many, spirituality becomes a mean to enhance their ego. Ego, which initially had woven a fictitious character around variables like your profession, how you look, what kind of clothes you wear, or how many assets you own, now dons a new mask. It starts to inflate itself by proclaiming that those variables no longer are important to you, as you have a raised vibration now, and material things don't hold the importance they used to. It starts creating thoughts like I'm not this body, I'm not this mind, and starts to point out how different you are than other souls who are not on a spiritual journey yet. If you find yourself thinking thus, take a moment to ask yourself, why did I start on the journey? Was it not to reach a state of merging with my true nature, the pure consciousness that I truly am? Remember, in the state of self-realization, ego completely vanishes. All thoughts are recognized to be mere illusions, be they of a lower or a higher vibration. Second, Dogmatic Beliefs Many spiritual traditions prescribe a strict adherence to certain beliefs and practices in order to reach the ultimate reality. And in the initial stages of your journey, these may be helpful in training your mind to be more still. It may also give you a sense of community and give you the feeling that you're not alone on the path. However, remember, ultimately, you would need to drop all dogmas and beliefs in order to reach a state of self-realization. And you may be surrounded by many, but this is a journey you must take on all by yourself. This journey starts from you and ends with you. Don't get caught up in practices so much that you lose sight of your ultimate goal. Third, Comparison and Competition The ego takes every life experience as a challenge, striving towards an ultimate goal to be attained and along the way comparing your progress to that of others. It gauges its success in comparison to others. When you embark on a spiritual journey, your ego will take that to be a challenge too and compare your progress to others, sometimes inflating itself when it feels like it has a better understanding than others. Or getting deflated seeing others make more progress, even if it's in the form of external validation of one's spirituality by others. If you find you are comparing yourself to others and seeking external validation for the spiritual progress you made, take a moment to remember that in the state of self-realization, there is no separation between I and the other. No duality is left. It is a state of oneness. And I have used the word goal, however, it is not the correct word to be used. Because if self-realization was a goal that would be attained in the future, its eternal existence would be a lie. Truth is right here, right now. The only thing that needs to go away is the illusion of separation. It could happen this very moment if you are ready to drop your ego and become one with your consciousness which you always are. And in this state, there will be no others left to compare yourself with. Fourth, Guru Worship this is one bit many fall into. Those who rise up to become famous teachers have amazing qualities of oration and a stunning personality. If they are self-realized, their presence is deeply transformative. So it's easy to be mesmerized by their presence and devote one's life into listening to or even spreading their words. But remember that the real guru is your higher consciousness, which has been leading you on your path. If it brought you to an external guru, it was because it felt that that's what was needed at the moment. The role of an external guru is simply to point you in the direction of your inner light. Don't hold on to the finger, just see where it is pointing at. 
your inner consciousness knows what you need to hear and will bring you to those words just like the ones you are listening to right now don't focus on the person speaking focus on the message instead and more importantly to the silences in between the words it is in the silence that the answers lie fifth spiritual bypassing the word spiritual practice conjures up the image of a person sitting in a meditative posture breathing gently with a calm expression on their face it looks like an enticing alternative to going through the difficulties of daily lives and many a times the mind will push one towards meditation simply to avoid some uncomfortable emotions psychological issues or personal challenges like an inability to come to terms with one's sexuality or eating habits or inability to get validation for one's worth from others it seems like a good idea simply to shut one's eyes to the problem the mind is incapable of solving meditation definitely can be a great aid in recovery from many psychological issues however if you are on a spiritual journey every moment of your life whether you are meditating or not is an experience in consciousness it is not a route of escape It is a state where no external changes can have any effect on your internal peace. Strive to make contemplation a means of self-inquiry, to reach a state of self-realization rather than using it as an avoidant tactic. To avoid these and other pitfalls on your spiritual journey, I would suggest every once in a while take a step back from your practice and ask yourself why you started on this path. Be true to yourself and treat all thoughts equally even if they appear to be arising from a higher vibration they are what is keeping you away from reaching the splendor of your inner consciousness ego will try to make you go astray watch out for it in a critical way and return to the feeling of being every time you can and enjoy the play of life as you go along may there be peace